I'm Elliot Dasher, welcoming you to the eighth session of the practice of direct awakening. In the previous session, we experienced quickly dropping into your authentic self. We go beyond identity and personality and awaken to the center of our being. In this session, we explore how to stabilize your true self when confronted by the strong and tenacious habit habit of the usual personal I. So please close your eyes if you wish, find a comfortable position, and listen with focused attention. Returning your attention to the listening whenever it wanders. If you throw a seed onto a rock, it will not thrive, it will not cultivate. If you throw your meditative sessions and your meditative insights into a dysfunctional life, similarly, they will neither survive nor flourish. To transition into a life lived from your authentic self, you must cultivate the conditions of that support for your new life, slowly letting go of the conditions that get in the way. As you continue to practice, This will begin to happen naturally. However, it's best to become aware of what to cultivate and what to abandon so we can have a more quickly move forward with that intention. On the positive side, consider establishing a regular daily practice as we've spoken of, cultivating periods of stillness and innerness throughout the day, what we've called micro or mini meditations creating harmonious, supportive environments, and acting with loving kindness. Let me repeat this, considering establishing a regular practice, cultivating periods of stillness and innerness throughout the day, creating harmonious, supportive environments, and acting with loving kindness. As you do, this will become more natural and you'll find that it supports the meditative process and your ability to live from your natural self. On the other side, consider letting go of unnecessary busyness, meaningless conversations, entertainment and distractions. Reflect on the false belief that outer activities will ultimately satisfy your soul needs. Let me repeat that here again. Consider letting go of unnecessary busyness, meaningless entertainment, distractions. Reflect on the false belief that outer activities will ultimately satisfy your deepest longings. These are just a few suggestions. Of most importance is to remember to repeatedly Ask this question of your activities. Does this activity or lifestyle support or get in the way of my intention to live more deeply? Then act accordingly, cultivating what supports your inner life, letting go of what gets in the way. In this way, the boundaries between your formal practice and your daily life will slowly drop away, and you will become more mindful of what contributes to an inner life and what diminishes an inner life. Finally, and this is important, most of us begin meditation to relieve stress and suffering and gain benefits from meditation. We do it for ourselves, and that is an important beginning. But as our meditative studies progress, we might consider shifting our motivation towards what can be called a noble motivation, an increasing selfless motivation. We affirm that we will take on this practice and this effort to improve our lives so that we may be of benefit to others. This shift gives our practice a larger perspective and intention that's more noble and selfless may even start our practice with the image or thought of a loved one 
that may we, we may wish to benefit. Now let's begin practice. Close your eyes if you wish. Fully relax your mind and body. I will once again guide you directly and quickly to your natural self, to your heart center. At times I will be silent, and other times I will spontaneously comment to guide you. We will dispense with the breathing exercises we previously used to calm the overactive mind. If you find them helpful, you can use them again when you need them. Again, it's deep breath in, blowing out and emptying the mind of its content. And holding and dwelling in the stillness and the awareness of the natural mind. This effortless practice, quieting the mind when you need it. So we can begin again by dropping all of your past history, all of your thoughts, feelings, and images. Let them go. Stop relating to them. Stop giving them attention. Let your awareness be like Teflon. Nothing sticks to it. Thoughts, feelings, and images are part of the natural mind. They're going to come up. But they're not a distraction. Distraction occurs when you give them tension, when you get drawn into them. So leave them alone. There's a thought, there's a feeling, an image. Who cares? It's none of my business. It's okay. I'll simply remain observing, witnessing, and aware. Not choosing or preferring one thought, image, or another. Let go of all beliefs, identities, judgments, and mental commentary. Don't hold on to anything. Let go of future hopes, fears. Like any, let any residual mental activity dissipate on its own, like waves falling back into the sea. Don't hold on to anything. Allow your ordinary self to simply drop away. Let your personal eye just dissolve for the moment. See what remains and rest in what's there after everything else drops away. It's a simple open, spacious, awareness, and presence. Remember the supreme instruction. Don't grasp onto anything. Let everything come and go on its own. Here are the words of a wise teacher. Be like the traceless path of a bird in the sky. Leave alone all the past thoughts that have gone. Leave alone even the present moment. Leave alone thoughts of the future. Leave thoughts loose and free without creating anything around them. Rest in the state of unfabricated, vast openness, spaciousness, presence, your natural self. It's so simple. 
Continue on your own for a few minutes. I'm going to keep your awareness open. Be the witness, the observer. And I'll allow all random mental activity to come and go. This is your natural home. This is who you are. No need to search any place else. Know this natural self, this treasure that you have that's already and always there. It may be obscured by your involvement with the personal eye and all its thoughts, feelings, and images. It's just like the clouds and those move away. The sun is still there. It's always been there. Your natural self is still there. It's always been there. Remember once again that your usual eye may seek to pull you back <clears throat> into all of its commentary and discourage you. It's too difficult. I can't do it. Perhaps another time. Have you will simply, over time, come to know this simple open awareness as your natural home. And naturally, let go of all irrelevant mental commentaries. Remain fully alert and aware. Rest at ease. Even if there is background mental activity, your authentic self remains naturally still. You need a breath hold here and there to deepen the stillness, please do so. No work, no study, no effort, no waiting for someone or something. It's all here right now. You are already this presence. You have always been this presence. This awareness. You are what you speak. Live inside your heart, your radiance, your natural self. In your formal sessions and in your daily life practice, you want to practice dropping everything and resting in this empty awareness of your true self. Know this home, it's yours, it's always there. So just stop in the middle of the day, drop in, experience who you are, go back to your normal activities.
I will leave you now, but you can continue by yourself, experiencing the harmony of body, mind, and spirit as long as you wish. Thank you for practicing with me.